Welcome to this first uh, exam question practice session. Uh, in these sessions, what I will do for each of the topics is a number of different exam questions you could be asked in your GCSE, and we will practice answering it together. So this is the first question I've picked out for dynamic development. And it says, evaluate the achievements of an LIDC you have studied towards meeting at least two Millennium Development Goals. And that is worth eight marks in total. So first of all, we need to figure out what the question is actually asking us. And the word evaluate should give you a big clue. When you see the word evaluate, you need to automatically think what was good, what went well, and what hasn't quite gone so well or what could be better. So we're asked here to look at the achievements of an LIDC. And of course, that LIDC for us is Zambia. So we're asked to look at Zambia, think about the achievements it has had, and also the potential problems it still has in at least two of the Millennium Development Goals. So with this question, it's actually easier to do three. So that is the way I am going to do this. You can do two. However, I'm going to use three in this example. So as you can see then, further down the page, I've already written out a structure. And this structure applies to nearly all eight mark questions. So you should always have an introduction, really short, which is a sentence, three paragraphs. In this case, two paragraphs for two Millennium Development Goals that went well, that were good, and that were achievements. And one paragraph that is a however paragraph, or an on the other hand paragraph, which did not go so well or still needs work. Finally, you should end with a final sentence, which is a conclusion saying, overall, Zambia has made good progress in these ways. And then finally, I've also got some knowledge here for you. So this is what I remembered from the lesson I did on Millennium Development Goals in Zambia. So I've picked out two particular Millennium Development Goals that were really good and made good progress. So children and primary education, it was 80% in 1990, and it rose to 90% by 2010. And I've also picked out the creating global partnerships goal. And Zambia had 6 billion debt relief from other nations around the world, and also has had major investment from China. So that is another positive or achievement for Zambia. And then I've also picked out my not so good millennium development goal as well, which is it still has a high infant mortality rate, which is still at 130 children per 1,000 children born die before the age of five. So I've got my structure. I've got the key knowledge I will need. And now, in essence, it's all about how I use this knowledge. So that is all I really need to know, but I need to be able to explain it really well. And as you know, in geography, the best way to structure your paragraphs is by using peel paragraphs. So what we're going to do is we're going to start underneath now with the introduction. So I'm going to label each of the paragraphs so you know exactly what we are looking at. So let's start with the introduction. Now, the aim of the introduction, of course, is to name our case study and say overall whether there has been good achievements or not. So we can start by saying our case study, so Zambia. And we can say that it has made some good progress. And we know that because of the three Millennium Development Goals above. So it has made some good progress towards meeting the Millennium Development Goals. That is our introduction done. It's done exactly what we want it to do. It's named the place we're going to talk about, which is an LIDC. And it's set out the argument that Zambia has made some good progress. So we then move straight on to paragraph one, which, as we said earlier, is going to be a paragraph outlining a Millennium Development Goal that Zambia has succeeded in achieving or has made good progress on. So I'm going to pick the amount of children in primary education, which is what I set out earlier on in our knowledge section. So 
Let's start off by saying very simply making a point Zambia has increased the amount of children in primary education. So we've made our point, that's what we're going to argue. We then have to give some evidence to back that up. So we know from our plan earlier at the top here that in 1990, 80% of children got a primary education. And that, of course, rose to 90 percent by 2010. So we've made our point and we've given some evidence that says that point took place. So we now need to explain how this is an achievement. Why is this relevant? So of course we know that the more children receive education, particularly primary education, the more able they are to read and write, the more skills they'll develop, which means the more job opportunities they may have and the more they can add to the economy of Zambia. And that means the levels of development and wealth in Zambia can increase over time. So we need to put that in a simple way in our exam answer. So we can say this has meant that Children have more opportunity to develop skills access skilled jobs higher incomes and therefore increasing Zambia's development levels. Full stop. So what we've got there is a peel paragraph. We've made our point. Zambia has increased primary education. We've then given some evidence. 1990, 80%, 90% by 2010. We've then explained what we mean by that. We've linked it to what we're talking about, which is achievement. And at the end, of course, we know that the Millennium Development Goals are all about development, so we've got a link at the very end. Okay. You can also add a final sentence here to make that link really explicit, which would be, this was a big achievement. And you are done that paragraph. So we're going to move on to our second paragraph now, and that is going to argue that Zambia has created global partnerships. It's had debt relief from nations as a result of its good cooperation with them and friendliness with them. And it's also had investment from China. So paragraph two, we are going to say that Zambia has developed global partnerships so that's our point that's what we're going to argue about we then have to give evidence or examples of those so Zambia secured
6 billion US dollars of debt relief. in 2006, full stop. This has meant that Zambia has been able to invest And here you've got to think about what it was able to invest in as a result. And that would be services such as education. We looked at that earlier. We looked at that in paragraph one. We can also make the point here that Zambia has also seen investment From China. And we know that that is particularly in copper and exports. And we know, of course, that exports and any investment from foreign nations is good for a nation because it allows the nation to develop some more trade links and also wealth. So we can say this has meant Zambia has increased wealth through trade as well. Therefore, Zambia has had good levels of achievement here. So that's our second paragraph done. Again, let's go back through it. What we've done here is we have made a point. We have also given some evidence for that point and then explained that point. We've also made a slightly separate point, but that's okay. And we have given some explanation for that and the link at the end as well. So we've got points, evidence, explaining, and linking back to the question. Now, if you remember, we'll go back to what we said at the start. We need to make sure that we also have a however paragraph. So we're going to have the next paragraph as the however. And then we will finish up with a conclusion. So our next paragraph is going to say, however. And we're gonna argue here that Zambia hasn't made good progress everywhere. So however, Zambia has had some weaker progress. Now, we refer back to what we said earlier. Zambia still has a high child mortality rate. And then we know that in 2010, the infant mortality rate, or IMR, was 130 per 1,000 children under age five. Now, we really need to think about what that means. Now, we know that this is a high figure. And we've got to think about why it's still high. And the main reason why mortality will be high is because of a lack of healthcare assistance and a lack of investment in healthcare. So we can say that this is a high figure 
when compared nationally, internationally. And it shows that there is still a lack of good healthcare provision in Zambia. This holds Zambia back. from developing. And you then have your however paragraph as well. You have your point here that Zambia still has high mortality. You've got your evidence. You've got your explain. You've got your link at the very end. So finally, you just need to now wrap up your answer with a conclusion. And you should always try and keep your conclusion as simple as possible. So very simply, I'm going to say overall, Zambia has made some good progress. Particularly, as we know, in education, and trade but still has a healthcare issue and we know it has a healthcare issue because of the infant mortality rate and what we've done there is we've simplified the points we have made earlier on in our answer so that then is how you would answer an eight mark question looking at the achievements of millennium development goals i hope you found that useful thank you very much